If you guys need cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2King.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. Today, we are going to be doing something brand new here on the channel that I used to do forever ago. And you guys, I did ask if you guys wanted to see it. And you guys said, yeah, let's do it. Let's bring these type of videos back. Today, we're going to be ranking the best PGs here in my team. Now, I know a lot of people do these already, guys. And I want to let you guys know two things. One, I have not watched anybody else's videos. And the reason why is because I want these opinions to come directly from me. So if there's any categories that look the same or if I say some of the similar things or whatever, it's just kind of a genuine thing, I guess, that you're going either say or have with these lists and on top of that though guys i'm basing my opinions off of more of you know the time spent to get some of these cards or how much they're going for the overall value that they have not just how good they are in the game because obviously some of these cards are better than others but for the value that it actually takes to get them maybe a little bit different so if you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see the shooting guard list sometime this week do me a favor and smash that like button but also comment down below your feedback on this video if you guys want to see it edited a little bit differently if you guys want me to go in depth a little bit more anything like that let me know down below with the categories that we guys or we have here guys we have top three which is self-explanatory the best three cards in the game we have bot mode there's gonna be like i think two cards looking at this list that i'm gonna be putting on here and you guys will obviously know why um you have decent which basically means cards that are really actually these two are supposed to be swapped my bad so copy and paste those are that this uh, tier right here of copy and paste is literally cards that drop that are both really good but they're literally the same card like they can literally be swapped out of any lineup it really doesn't matter they're like the same thing basically uh you have decent which i put decent above budget ballers they're kind of the same thing but i'm gonna put a little bit of an extra category for two or three budget cards that i think really do belong in this category you have budget ballers themselves and then you have the lol category for cards that i mean yeah they shouldn't even be on here let's be honest so without further ado let's get into this video and talk about some pgs here in my team so first things first we do have magic johnson okay i like magic magic is really good if you like using magic he is a good pg in the sense where he really has good playmaking badges which obviously does help him out um you know with other people scoring it helps you shooting contested reds a little bit more um but on top of that though his overall card the only disappointing thing really about it is the fact that you can't really run with him like magic just is so slow and just so like I don't, he's just like he, he just doesn't move all that well so i'm gonna be putting magic in copy and paste i feel like there obviously there's a lot of pgs especially we're gonna be covering that are good they they're gonna do the same thing i mean yes magic can mash and everything but so can the rest of these guys Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below, so be sure to go hit him up now. Next up, we have Penny Hardaway. Now, Penny, in my opinion, I don't even think it's a debate. Penny is a top three PG in this game. The value that he's going for right now really isn't all that bad from what it used to be as well. I mean, MT is really cheap. Again, be sure to go hit up my sponsor, guys. But like I said, Penny is really not that bad. I mean, honestly, the thing about Penny that makes him so good is that he is obviously a taller guard. He can mash, but the thing that he has above magic, in my opinion, is a better jump shot and the fact that he can actually move in the game. So I personally like Penny. I think overall, I think he is a better card than Magic. Next up, we have Gilbert Arenas. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I used to think that Gilbert wasn't really all that good. And, my, and obviously, this is before he really came out. Then he came out. I was actually playing around in somebody's account a couple weeks ago. And I actually don't mind Gilbert all that much. I won't even lie. Gilbert actually could kind of find a fit on some teams here. I'm going to be putting him in the decent category, though. I don't think he is tall enough to you know be on the same level as guys like Magic. But I definitely think he is a step up above some of these other budget cards in the game. I mean, again, he's definitely a pretty good sleeper card now this is where again you guys might be a little stunned i'm putting caruso in that copy and paste category right alongside magic the reason why is caruso and magic yes i know one is a pink diamond one is a diamond one's magic johnson and one is alex caruso but Crusoe's got a better jump shot. He almost is going to play the exact same, if not better defense. I mean, he may not have the badges, but overall the card is, in my opinion, definitely able to compete with a guy like Magic. So I'm going to put him up on this list. Cade Cunningham, I, I've been, this is one card I have been kind of conflicted with. Now, as of right now, I mean, obviously I'm basing this off of January 2nd in my team. I don't really like Cade. I didn't like Cade when he first dropped. I know a lot of people did. Just to kind of keep the peace a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the decent category. I would put him in the copy and paste. I know some people are going to want to see him on that same tier. Some people might want to see him in the budget baller tier. I just, honestly, overall, 
I've never been a big fan of Cade. I don't like how you have to lock in players and they had to be original owners. So it's like, if you didn't get him now, like, or if you didn't get him before, like you're not even going to be able to get him now. So it is what it is. Chris Paul. Chris Paul is going to be going on the decent category. I mean, actually, no, I, you know what? Oh, it's hard. Okay. So this is the thing. If you play on next gen, he would go in the budget baller category. In my opinion, if you play on current gen, he is a lot better. And I mean a lot better on current versus, you know, him being on next. So if you guys, depending, obviously again, kind of keeping the peace a little bit, I'll put Chris Paul a decent, just in case there's like a Chris Paul super fan watching this video. I got you covered my man. Lonzo ball, Lonzo ball, top three. Okay. Lonzo is really him. Obviously like this card, especially on current gen, I would say he's the best card on current gen. As far as, you know, a PG goes locks down almost any single card. The thing about current gen is that, you know, the defensive ability is actually there. You get a lot more bumps and I don't mean bump steals. It's just, you know, they clash a little bit more. You guys will be able to, you know, contest a little bit more shots. Lonzo having a good wingspan, a good player build, good badges and everything. Overall, I just think he is the best PG on current. And I'm actually going to swap him and Penny just so it looks a little... Okay, all right. Well, we'll do that, I guess. Steph Curry, okay? Steph Curry is really good on current gen. Next gen, I mean, again, I feel like he does have the ability there. But you really do need that defense out of Steph. But I do feel like he is really good. So I'm putting him in the copy and paste thing. Again, it's not just about the height. It's literally overall what they're going to do if you guys could swap them in and out of a lineup. And I do feel like Steph can be put on this category. I mean, he is the best three hunting guard in the game. So I feel like you can't put him in the decent category. Maybe there is one more, um, one more tier. Maybe I need, you know, I feel like, no, nah, I'll leave bot mode there. I was going to put it above it, but I, I kind of like the top three being at the top. Uh, DeJounte Murray, DeJounte Murray, I'm putting in the copy and paste situation again. He's got the height, got the player build overall has a decent jump shot and he's got the defense to back it up. So again, whether you're playing current gen or next gen, Still really solid. If you guys actually remember from the streams a while ago, this man was my kryptonite. I never lost like games at all with unlimited and limited. And then I lost like three in a row of limited because DeJounte Murray was just boxing me up. And it is what it is. I got no problem admitting it. Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, I got to put in copy and paste. Okay, this card was way too good for way too long. I feel like you do need to know what you're doing with this card, though. This isn't a card, like, at least right now in this game, where you can kind of go out and just get buckets with. Like, you got to know how to dribble a little bit. You got to know how to burst. You got to know how to do, like, hezzies and, you know, burst out of those animations and everything. But overall, Donovan Mitchell is still a really good card in this game, and I really do like. So, again, I feel like... Out of any of these guys in this tier so far, you could realistically swap any of them out. I mean, again, some of them will be a little bit better defensively. Some of them will be a little bit better offensively. But overall, they're all going to do basically what you need them to do. De'Aaron Fox, same thing, putting them in the copy and paste tier. Originally, I was going to put them in the decent tier. But again, I'm basing this off of value, guys. You know, the trophy case with Gilbert Arenas and Chris Paul. These two guys are really solid. Obviously, I'm not taking away from that. But De'Aaron Fox is really cheap on the auction house. You guys can pick up whenever you want. You don't have to do a bunch of trophy case pieces. Overall, De'Aaron Fox is really solid all around. And again, if you didn't get a guy like Donovan Mitchell, De'Aaron Fox is literally, I don't want to say exactly a copy and paste, but again, he's interchangeable. You guys will be able to kind of swap them out and have De'Aaron Fox do just about the same thing. Next guy up, Gary Payton. Now, Gary Payton, to me, I feel like was really good. And then the more PGs that are coming out, he does drop. But I'm still putting him on that copy and paste tier. Again, a lot of these cards are like this. They can be interchanged with each other. And, I mean, it's just the truth. Unfortunately, it is what it is. But that doesn't make them bad cards. It's just the meta this year, there really isn't a, a set-in-stone meta, which is also a good thing. Now, for a guy like James Harden, I wanted to make him his own tier almost by literally saying, like, this card is somebody that you need to have on your team. Like, if you know what you're doing, I'm saying, Harden has the best sigs in the game. His jump shot is really quick. He was one of the first cards, I think, to have Hoff Limitless. And the way he just moves in the game, if you know what you're doing, you can cook some people. And, I mean, I'm talking whether they're on-balling, off-balling, it does not matter. Harden is really good, so I think I'm going to just put him in the copy and paste here. I feel like he definitely deserves that little bit of an upgrade. I feel like I do really like him. Stockton is going to be our very first budget baller. Uh, I mean, Stockton's cool. I like him. I think he is usable. I think you could definitely get some good value out of him, but nothing really too, too crazy in my opinion, but I do overall like Stockton. I think, again, for him being a free card, literally all you had to do was like I know you had to get to that point, but it was like 200 assists or whatever, which if you're just playing the game, it's going to add up anyway. 
Uh, KPJ. KPJ, I'm going to be putting in budget ballers. I like him. If his defense is a little bit better, he would be there. But overall, his jump shot and everything, he's like a budget version of JR every single year. So I got to give him his props. I'll put him in budget ballers. LaMelo Ball. Okay, LaMelo, I wanted to put originally in top three. But LaMelo just moves so slow. So I'll put him next to Magic so it doesn't look that bad. But LaMelo Ball, you got to go here. Now, the reason why I'm putting him here is off the catch, his jump shot is really good. I've seen a lot of gameplays of him. I've seen a lot of wagers of people doing him. The ball is not really in his hands. He's he's there. You know, he, you have Tim Thomas. You have Ricky Davis. You're doing all this running around and everything. LaMelo's there to spot up, basically get, you know, quick rebounds and throw them up and actually be able to complete the pass. He does get some pretty good finishing animations, but overall off the dribble his shot is so slow like the load up you get compared to shooting off the dribble versus just a catch and shoot a mile difference i'm putting him in copy and paste again i feel like the value you get out of him in a game you could almost get the same thing out of a magic out of a caruso a steph any one of these guys luca this may be unpopular but i'm putting luca in decent i just i like the idea of luca you know i mean as far as you know last year he was really good the year before that he was really good this year, I just he just doesn't have that same feel. And it's honestly because he just doesn't move as much. And like his jump shot is just really weird. I don't I mean I think it's greenable, but I just think it's not as good as people want it to be. So we're gonna just put him in the decent tier. Marbury, maybe unpopular. I'm throwing him in this tier right here of copy and paste. I actually like Marbury. I like his player build in the game. I think overall he is a solid card. He could dunk, rebound, shoot, uh, defense is there because he is glitched and he has all those extra little badges and everything. Overall, I think he is a pretty good card and he's really cheap. Again, you're looking at the value of these cards for not having to grind, you know, hundreds of hours. It's literally just a guy you can go in the auction house and pick up for like 20K MT. So if you're just starting out, this is definitely a guy that can compete with a lot of these different other players. Now, the top three guard right here is going to be Shea Gilgis Alexander. I don't even think anything needs to be said about him. If you guys have been playing this game, pick up Shea there shouldn't either be there shouldn't even be a debate about that if you guys can get this card for anything you know under like 80k even pick him up okay he can shoot he can rebound he does literally everything he has a wingspan he has the height to back it up overall just one of the best cards in this game i mean again i, I don't know what else to say really shay is just that guy he's cheap he's not a lock-in he's not a trophy case guy he's a budget card that you could literally get super quick super easy and really get some strong value out of him. Rex Chapman, I do like. I think Rex belongs in the copy and paste here as well. Rex is literally one of those guys that, again, does a little bit of everything. He's got the height. But, I mean, I wouldn't say he's better than any one of these guys. But if you guys were able to get him out of the vault or, you know, even you did his requirements or whatever, it's definitely worth it. Rose, in my opinion, this may be, this might be one of the more controversial ones, I think, in this game. At this stage in the game, I'm going budget ballers. I honestly would take chris paul or gilbert arenas over derrick rose rose was somewhat cool in the beginning but to me rose like lost that effect the minute a guy like donovan mitchell dropped so to me the hype behind derrick rose just kind of continuously dropped so if you like him cool if not it is what it is now this is going to be our one and only bot mode card and the reason why i'm putting him here is because if you've played this game long enough you know that Westbrook is this is mainly on next gen because there is no defense that's get play, that gets played on next gen at all. If you could literally close your eyes, run forward, like hold turbo, hold square, you're getting either a layup, a dunk, something. Westbrook is literally going to be that guy. I'm telling you guys right now, he is that guy. It is a little bit different on current gen, but he still can do it on current if I'm being completely honest with you. Like obviously if you match up with somebody that knows what they're doing, it may be a little bit different, but nine times out of ten, Westbrook is just literally run forward boom you're getting a layup you're getting a dunk you're getting something stupid i'm telling you guys westbrook is just the most bot made card in this game now this situation right here about trey young okay a lot of people were gonna say hey trey young is trash blah, blah blah listen i'm gonna be honest with you guys trey young really is not that bad now i wanted to put the lol tier there because we don't really even have a card that i think is all that bad i know it sounds crazy but Trey Young, I feel like if you have the skill to use this card, he is not that bad, okay? So, like, I feel like he realistically isn't that bad. I'm going to put him in the decent tier. I don't think he is the trash tier. I think he is really solid. 
I think Wade is going to go into the copy and paste here as well. Wade is just another one of those really solid cards that overall just does a little bit of everything. His jump shot could be a little bit faster in my opinion, but overall, again, you could swap him out for anybody on this list. So this is the thing, guys. If you guys are watching this video and you're like, oh, I, you know, I run a good PG. Like, if you have, you, you know, if you want Caruso, if you want Marbury, if you want Mitchell, or if you have Mitchell already, if you have Murray, Fox, whatever. Like, all these guys are going to be interchangeable. So it's like, don't worry about going and scooping Magic or Lamelo when you can literally get any of these guys. Final one is John Wall here. Same thing. Copy and paste, I would say. I almost, I will say this, guys. I almost was debating on putting... Um, who was it? I think it was, I was almost debating on putting magic in the bot mode tier, but I feel like magic does take at least a little bit of skill. Like the thing about magic is you could realistically just run up and mash people over and over and over again, but I still feel like you need to know what you're doing with the different animations and everything. Overall though, I think this is a pretty good list. I mean, obviously it's my opinion, so of course I'm going to say that, but let me know what you guys think. I mean, do you guys disagree? Do you guys think players should be higher or lower? Again, I'm trying to base this on the value off the card and really how good they can be for you based on what they're going for or how long it takes to get them. Again, top three cards in the game, PGs, Lonzo, Penny, Shea. Lonzo and Penny really aren't that expensive. Shea is literally a budget card. Westbrook is again a free card through the trophy case. I mean, it should be either him or Worthy that you guys get first at this point. Um, tons of copy and paste cards. Again, decent cards. Trey, Gilbert, uh, Chris Paul, Cade, Luca, all guys that are they're they're good. They're decent at the game, but nothing really too too crazy. Stockton, KPJ, Derrick Rose, they're good budget cards. They can still compete, but not really the best PGs in the game by any means. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, peace.